What's good y'all, it's your boy Christ Hoogie here and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make thumbnails on mobile and um, yeah, let's just get into it. So as you see on the screen right now, I am on Photo Room. Uh, as y'all see on the screen right now, I'm going to show you the two apps that you need to download to make thumbnails. Um, so the apps are Photo Room, that's how you're going to be cutting out your images to make a PNG. And then also Pixart. Pixart is the app that you're going to be able to make the actual thumbnails on. And um, right now we're on Photo Room, as y'all see here. Just cut out the image. Now, I didn't make the hoop actually PNG. Like, it is PNG, but the net itself isn't PNG, but it's fine. The reason I didn't make the whole thing PNG is because it's going to take a little while, y'all. I'm not going through every little hoop to make a PNG. And... The background that I'm using it actually blends in with it, so it's perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, we cut that out. Now, as you see there in the bottom right-hand corner of it, it says Photo Room. There is a watermark or whatever it's called. But once you go into Pixar, you put it on your thumbnail. All you gotta do is erase it. You know, it's very easy. I'll show y'all how to do it in this video. And also, as y'all see here, we're on Pixar. I just usually choose a black screen, go to Crop, go to YouTube. That's how the exact. Uh, the exact YouTube thumbnail thing. Um, so as you see there, the bottom right hand screen. So you click the sticker, right? So you click on it and hit the eraser up top and hit erase. And I erase the cord a little bit as y'all see there, just to get out that, that out of there. And then you see photo room in the bottom. I'm gonna hit right here and I'm gonna erase it, y'all. I'm not doing it yet. There we go, right here. There you go, it's gone, all right? That's all you have to do, y'all. Alright y'all, now we're going to go into my camera roll, we're going to pick out AI. Now, how I get my screenshots is either from off the internet, or I get them myself. Now this one, I did get it from uh, myself. You know, I just went into uh, freestyle and started dunking with AI. And that's how I got the screenshot. I just went on the PlayStation app, went to Captures, and uh, took the screenshot over there. Now, uh, how I get the cards is uh, 2K DB, as y'all know the best place to look at cards stats and also get them for your thumbnails so we added to our photos we come in here we add it in here all right now as you see it's over top of ai so what i'm gonna do is hit those two little boxes as you see up top those two little squares so you hit that and hit move down all right and now you see it's behind them all right then you want to click on the card go to shadow put exactly the same stats or whatever you want to say call it same thing i'm doing right here Go to color, make it pink, just to match the pink diamond effect. You know, put a shadow behind uh, AI. You know, I'm putting it on zero, so it's not like away from him. I just want it behind him, so it's a little bit of glare behind him. Uh, so you make that white just for his uh, player to pop out. Go to clarity, make that 100%. Contrast, 71. Brightness is on six. Shadows. Now, always zoom in and see which, what, you know, you like. Not every thumbnail is going to look the same. You know, some thumbnails are players. You might want certain settings. So, don't just copy these on every thumbnail. Um, but, yeah, I just find what looks good. Keep it there. And, um, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to go back into our photos. And I already have some stuff saved from a long time ago. I'll see if I can make a uh, folder for y'all for all the stickers I use. That will be coming soon. Um, so as you see here, I get the slash overtake or slash take take over. Uh, put a shadow behind it. Put 100, 100. So the horizontal this time, you want to make that away from it just a little bit. Um, make it red. And then what I'm going to do is go back into my photos. Now I do get sharp take right here. Um, I would use shot green take because that's what he has, but I don't have it right now. I got to go find it. Um, so I use sharp take just for this uh, thumbnail. I'm going to put it over top of the slashing one. Make sure it's the same. Now what you can do is lower the opacity so you can see behind it to tell if it's the same, you know, thing. As you see here, I'm zooming in. It doesn't look too good. So I got to match up those two white lines so that they match up together. As you see here, I do. And then what I'm going to do is erase half the takeover right here. 
that way it's half uh take half slash takeover and half a uh, sharp takeover but usually it should be shot creating because that's what he has but like i said don't have that takeover right now i gotta go find it um so that's what we do here and then we go to shadow once again 100 capacity 100 position horizontal go to the right a little bit just like we did on the left side vertical go to zero all right and we have a color and make it yellow that way it pops out all right because the flames are red and yellow there's a little bit of orange but red and yellow go together all right so that makes that pop more and then um so and then also what you got to do is um make sure there's no yellow coming out on the left side like as you see on the left side of the shark takeover there's a little bit of yellow as you see when i zoom in so you want to make sure there's none on the left side like in the middle so you want to put the horizontal a little bit more to the right that way you don't see it because i would throw it off um you know as y'all see right here it's looking pretty nice um obviously you know photoshop is so much better you can do so much effects all that stuff as you hear we can go in the stickers all right now it's a good thing about this app is there's a lot of stickers on here of 2k stuff you know cutouts that are already on here as pngs uh, this is already on here i don't know what it's called but you can find this just go to background effects or something you'll find it somewhere um but as you see here i put that in the background of everybody like i said hit the two um rectangle or not rectangle squares and then press move down all the way to the bottom of it then what you want to do is go to um you want to go to blend on it and then you want to put it um as an overlay now here i didn't put these on here but you can if you want to uh, they're called animation lines or whatever uh, so i didn't put those on there but those do look cool sometimes you can put them in the background so now we go to effects saturation hit that you can change it a little bit if you want to just hit those little bar things as you see here um and so now we're just finishing a little you know a little bit more stuff up you know you can just play with these settings like i said yo a lot of this stuff you can just play with it see what looks nice to you um, not every thumbnail is going to look the same, like I said. Then you want to hit top right, hit next, hit save, save again, save it to your photos. And that's what it looks like, y'all. Thanks for watching. It's me, Boy Cry Spooky. I hope this helps y'all out with your thumbnails. Peace. Love y'all.